And as we're falling, there's only two things that come to my mind. Thing number one, do my bra and knickers match? <laughs> Ladies, right? Because if I die and they don't match, my mum's going to be mad, right? <laughs> I'll tell you what I did. I did a TV show called Question Team, right? Very simple show. What happens is you get four comedians, we ask each other questions. At the end of the show, whoever has the most points wins, right? Very vanilla premise. What makes it exciting is what you're doing whilst you're asking the questions. That's where the flavour comes, right? See what I did there? Master Chef, call me. Anyway, so. <laughs> I did a skydive right now. What happened was it was early 2020s, mid that time we were working from home, right? And the producer came to me on Zoom and he said, Tanya, what's one of the wildest things you want to do and we'll pay for it? I got excited <laughs> for two reasons. One, I've got a very rich bucket list and a very poor bank account. <laughs> two, I had no trousers on and I caught a breeze. It was lovely, right? <laughs> I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call their bluff. I said, I want to skydive, right? Now, guys, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> Does this look like a face of someone who wants to skydive? <laughs> it's not, right? I know what my face looks like. This doesn't say fall through the sky for entertainment. This says risk averse, okay? I'm not in it, but I said, I'm gonna call their bluff. So I said, I want to skydive. They said, if we can sort it out, do you want to skydive? I said, let's do it, right? Before we move on, why is it called a skydive? No one dives out of a plane. Do you know what I mean? It's definitely a sky fall or a sky, I'm really bored, let me try and murder myself, right? That's, <laughs> that's what it is. But they came back two years later and they said, Tanya, we've sorted it out. And I said, <laughs> <laughs> I called my mum, I said, Mum, they sorted out the skydive. And she said, that's your business, right? And hung up the phone. <laughs> She's not interested. Called my dad, I said, Dad, you come with me. Let's go and do this skydive, right? So we jump in the car. On the way there, guys, I'm going to be honest, I don't know how to feel, what to think or what to do with my emotions. I'm about to fall through the sky for entertainment, okay? As we get there, they rush us into the safety briefing. Now, I didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why. <laughs> They had given me five questions that I have to remember as I'm falling through the sky for entertainment, okay? So I'm trying to remember the questions. As we come out of the safety briefing, I put on my suit, I go over to the plane. Now I say the plane, that plane is older than all of us combined, okay? <laughs> it was the first idea of planes before planes became planes. There's no seats or doors on this plane, so the only drawing of this plane is in a nursery, okay? <laughs> But that's the plane we've got to get on, OK? So I get on the plane. Luckily, I'm doing it tandem. That means I'm attached to a professional skydiver, right? We get on, I'm straddling a hump, and I'm holding a rail. There's three cameras around me. Before we set off, the producer says, Tan, on the way up, look like you're having fun. <laughs> I can't do that for you, sir. What the f is this, right? Well, we start, we go up. And as we go up, the guy who's attached to me, he taps me on the shoulder and he says, did you listen to the safety briefing? And I said, yes. <laughs> and he says, so you know, when we go up, we're gonna level out. And as we level out, we're gonna go towards the edge. I'm gonna sit on the edge. You cross your arms, put your legs back and say your question to the camera. Then we're gonna go. I said, I can do that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but then we got up there and we leveled out and we started to go towards the edge, right? <laughs> And that's when I realised, because if he's sitting on the edge, where the sh am I? <laughs> I was just hanging in the sky. I was like a pair of tits in a <laughs> bra. So it was minimal support. I said, Tanya, get out of this quickly, say your question, and let's go. I said my question, arms, legs, and we went. As we went, a cameraman came here and a drone came here. Now, because I didn't listen to the safety briefing, I didn't know that when you're free falling through the sky, don't open your mouth. <laughs> I saw a camera and in my head I said, action, right? So I went to say question two, but as I went, Quah! I've now headbutted this guy and we're falling to our death, right? <laughs> Not twist, we survive, but we're falling. And as we're falling, there's only two things that come to my mind. Thing number one, do my bra and knickers match? <laughs> Ladies, right? Because if I die and they don't match, my mum's going to be mad, right? <laughs> and number two, from this height, can bird <laughs> in my mouth? <laughs> Very stupid question, I'm aware. But now I'm falling to my death and I'm arguing with myself. So I'm like, Tanya, how is a bird gonna in your mouth at this height? Is it gonna back into your mouth and you dickhead? Right? <laughs> also, because somebody thinks like me, when you're falling towards the cloud, don't panic. You're not gonna hit it like this. Just gonna go through, okay? Because I was like, there's a cloud, ah! 
okay, it's just the cloud, it's fine, it's a cloud, it's a cloud, it's fine. We get through the cloud, we pull the parachute, we're fine, we're not dying. I say my questions to the camera and we come down as my feet touch the ground. I was so happy. Oh my God, I just faced the fear. I did all of it. I jumped up, I ran to my dad, I hugged him, he was proud of me. I ran to the producer, I hugged him. He was like, Tanya, that's amazing, but you gotta go again. Because <laughs> it's TV. You don't do nothing once in TV unless it's Comedy Central Live. <laughs> Minimum twice, right? <laughs> so I get back in the plane and we go up and we get towards the edge. I'm a pair of tits. I say my question and we go out. As we go out, the cameraman comes there and the drone comes there. I look at both of them and I say, <laughs> I'm not a dickhead, isn't it? Get to the cloud, don't panic. We didn't hit it, we went through it, it was fine. We pulled the parachute, we came down as my feet touched the floor. Once again, my feelings are all over the place. I don't know what to say. I give them my suit, we jump in the car. As we drive down the road, that's when I thought to myself, Tanya, oh God, that is the whitest shit you've ever done. <laughs> I felt so white, I just went home and started sending complaint emails. It was really weird. <laughs> I've been Tanya Moore, you've been fantastic. See you later.